This video will show you how to flush and troubleshoot your cooling system. This is a 1992 Honda VFR. And um, in the state of Florida, you really don't need to run coolant in your cooling system because very rarely will the temperature reach 32. And um, I like to flush these things and put a, uh, a CLR a press stone. I use CLR. I've used press stone before, but the CLR um, deals with the lime. And on a well water system, you've got a lot of lime, you've got a lot of uh, phosphates, you got a lot of ammonia and nitrogen in it. So um, I know a fact that the amount of ammonia on the well water is very high. So um, basically, once you unhook on your radiator, there are two hoses one on the in and one on the out. This is uh, the out. Um, it's on the bottom corner of the radiator. Once you unhook this, there's going to be coolant running out. It's about a gallon's worth. So get a funnel underneath, catch it. I've already done it. Again, I'm only running water, so I just let it run on the ground. Um, as you can see, I've already done a little flush already. Come around the other side. Come around the other side and you'll see right in the corner of the radiator there. Uh, I've left my fairing on. I'm not really, I really don't care about uh, taking the fairing off. I've already taken the, the hose off and here it is. It's going into the thermostat. Now technically you don't need a thermostat. Not in the state of Florida because it's too hot. Um, warm up time is not going to be significant. However, during the winters you may want to you know it, it gets a little bit difficult to start if your if your bike's not tuned up or you know it may take a while for it for the choke to really kick in now what I do is uh, you see the hose over there it's hanging on the ground you want to do this you want to take a garden hose and you want to shoot it straight into the thermostat area and I'll show you real quick all right see that now watch Watch on this side. I don't know if you can see that, but it's flowing out there like a waterfall. Can you see that? Okay. That's a fast way to flush it. I mean, everything going in, going out. It's going backwards on the system, so there's no restrictions. If your thermostat is, is stuck and you're having cooling problems, um, it's either going to stick on the in or the out. This tells me that it's stuck on the out. So it's not a, it, the thermostat's not a problem. It's open right now. It's going directly into the thermostat, which is right underneath the, uh, the carburetors. And you know, I mean, just run it as long as you want. Like I said, it's clean now. And then you can do it the other way. See that hole right there in the, in the radiator? Just run it right through. And it'll just go right out. I don't know if you can see that. I'll run over to the other side and show you. And there it is coming out. Nice clean water. See that? It's nice clean water on there. Now, I know it's flushed. It's going through the engine. It's going through the uh, upper heads. It's going through the water pump. It's going through the thermostat. And then now it's going through the radiator. So uh, I'll run distilled water through the same channels, give it a final flush, um, maybe spray some degreaser or something in there, and then just give it a final flush and then leave it at that. Uh, that should flush out the whole system. And like I said, I just put CLR in there to, you know, keep the lime, lime buildup. Uh, turned to turned it muddy, muddy brown water. Um, this is going to be the second time I did the CLR. I did notice an improvement in the cooling system. And, um, okay. If, if your channels or the, uh, the coolant channels in the, in the engine block is clogged in any way, whether oil, carbon, you know, anything, it's going to restrict the flow. So once you do that, you, uh, once you put that CLR in there, if it's lime, it'll kill, it'll, it'll, it'll unstuck it. Um, you know, you could put some plumbing stuff in there, but just make sure you rinse that stuff real quick. That plumbing stuff will eat up that engine. 
I wouldn't do it. I would just stick with the basics. Okay, thank you.